you. A candidate for state representative in Baton Rouge who failed to make the runoff is suing a man for defamation following his defeat. Hollis Day blames him and a WBRZ investigative unit report for bringing up an ongoing federal lawsuit filed by the Securities and Exchange Commission. Here's Chris Nakamoto. Sylvia Day came in third place on the night of the primary last month with only 19% of the vote. He failed to make the runoff to represent District 66 in Baton Rouge. Day alleges a man he knew defamed him by telling people he lost thousands of dollars through money he invested with Day. This 62-page lawsuit alleges a man who was a jilted former client of Hollis Day Jr. defamed him in a manner that continues to harm him. I'll keep defending myself. And cost him a seat at the Louisiana State Capitol. It's been very stressful. Representing District 66 in Baton Rouge. I think he should settle this and move on. Eric Bertolet sat down with the WBRZ investigative unit at the beginning of October. I took him at their word. Saying Day took him for a ride. How much money would you say you've lost by Hollis? Uh, over 25000 at this point. A fresh lawsuit filed Friday in Ascension Parish alleges that interview cost Day the election. And Day asks a court to have Bertolet remove any posts about him and pay damages. Bertolet says he lost thousands of dollars after Day invested his money. Day's alleged actions are now the focus of a lawsuit by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission. I feel that Hollis should have known that these were unregistered, unlicensed securities, uh, according to the SEC complaint. I'm not a lawyer. That's what the SEC is saying, and I think he should have known that up front. And that he never once disclosed that. He claimed it was all up and up and legal. The Securities and Exchange Commission alleges Hollis Day Jr. used his weekly radio show, Sage Money Radio, to reach a larger audience and solicit additional investors. The lawsuit alleges he sold oil and gas securities and made nearly $870,000 in commissions from 2016 until 2020. The feds allege Day violated federal securities laws by participating in the sale of securities not registered with the commission and acted as a broker in the offer and sale, despite the fact that he was not registered. The SEC asked a court to disgorge all funds received from Day's illegal conduct, together with prejudgment interest. They also were asking for him to pay a civil penalty. Last month, Day denied any wrongdoing and says the feds are coming after him because he's a conservative. There's a lot of things lately that the federal government has claimed that are not true. This document says that you made $869,000 off of that. Is it not? Yeah, it wasn't quite that high. It was a lot of money I made. Uh, I was a soured employee, 1099 money, so that, that money, you know, that, that didn't all go in my pocket. There's taxes and expenses to be paid sure. as well. But it says that you made that amount in commissions, and of course you'd have to pay taxes on that because that's income, but it says you made $869,796. That's a pretty specific amount for the feds to make up. No, they didn't make it up. They're just off a little bit. Okay. Um, and I don't, I don't get, I don't, so I sell life insurance too. I get paid a commission when I sell life insurance. I didn't get paid commissions doing that. But the feds disagree and say Day did make commissions on oil and gas securities, and they were tracking it. Mad that this happened. Day says, despite what the feds allege, he didn't do anything wrong. Chris, w w would you admit to something that you didn't do? I mean, uh, someone who admits to something that they didn't do is not a person of principle, and that's not who I am. We reached out to Day and his lawyers about the lawsuit that was filed against Bertolet. We never heard back. Bertolet declined to comment today, citing the pending litigation. Sylvia? All right, Chris, thank you there.